A new report brings troubling news about how deadly American roads have become. Fatalities are up almost 10 percent this year. And the U.S. is on track for its deadliest year on the highways in nearly a decade. What's to blame? An improving economy, cheap gas, young drivers refusing to put down their phones. Here's Phil LeBeau. American roads are becoming more dangerous. In fact, the National Safety Council says traffic fatalities in the U.S. for the first half of the year spiked 9 percent, and they're up almost 20 percent compared to two years ago. We cannot keep accepting these highway fatalities. It would be the equivalent of a major plane crash occurring every week. Actually, two major plane crashes occurring every week. And our hair would be on fire. We wouldn't accept that. Why do we accept it on the highways? What's going on? Well, the improving economy means more people commuting to work. Also, with gas selling for just over $2 a gallon, people are driving more. And then there is this disturbing fact. Distracted driving is getting worse, especially among teen drivers. 35% of teens surveyed by the National Safety Council admit they're willing to text and drive. And almost half of them say they'd use social media sites or even video chat while behind the wheel. Even though we have more than 46 uh, states that have texting bans in place, we're seeing the use of these devices when people are behind the wheel go up in spite of all of the education and in fact, people say they know that they shouldn't be doing it. While many drivers and tech firms offer systems or software to disable cell phones in the car, it's clear many drivers would rather stay connected behind the wheel and run the risk of a deadly accident. All of which means this upcoming Labor Day weekend could be one of the most deadly ones on U.S. highways in several years. In fact, the National Highway Safety Council says this Labor Day weekend could be the deadliest on U.S. roads since 2009. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Phil LeBeau, Chicago.